and look forward to this place having a lot of life and enjoying a lot of beer in the future. And go! Okay. Yay! Cheers to a new start for a once struggling brewery. Back in January, the brewer put up this social media post that said in part, truth. This could be our last week. That first week, we had so much support from the community. It was amazing. In those nine weeks, co-owner of 16 Lots Southern Outpost, Del Hall, says they've gained two new investors and reworked their business model. So when we first opened 10 months ago, you know, we had about 44 employees. Now, 10 people are on the payroll. There is still great beer, live music. Amazing views and food. But the number of menu items has been cut from 25 to 10. I know it's silly to say that we're struggling so much, but I feel like we're a better business for it. And because we're a better business, we're more efficient. That means customers will do more themselves. When you get here and want something to eat or drink, you can either order at the bar or go to the menu, scan the QR code, and when it's ready, go pick it up. Mix in the grain and water at the same time while those are spinning. Josh Wilson, head brewer for both of the 16 lot locations, showed us where the beer is made. Six fermenter tanks hold a variety of different types. In our Mason locations, a little bit more of our, our traditional core beers down here. It's a little easier to brew some of the big style stouts, the big hazy IPAs. The beer and the views from Newport on the levee into downtown Cincinnati is what Hall hopes customers see as a big draw, a draw that keeps them coming back for more. Megan Mangello, Local 12 News. You can always get local stories right here on YouTube, but go ahead and hit that subscribe button to get notifications to stay in the know.